My name is Kristen Gallagher. I'm the CEO and founder here at Wild Rock Public Relations and Marketing. We are a full service PR and marketing company in Fort Collins, Colorado. So we're about an hour north of Denver. Selling is hard. And one of the things I was always joking about with Julia Pimsler when I was working with her uh, through Million Dollar Women and coaching is I I told her I'm, I'm horrible at selling things. I'm a soft seller, right? Like I just, you know, I want you to feel good about it. I want you to come into the Wild Rock family and come into the fold, but only if you want to. So just a horrible salesperson overall. And I always felt like selling was pushy and I didn't like that. I didn't want to feel like, you know, the sleazy watch salesperson with like, you know, the, the trench coat and the watches and everything. And I'm like, I, I don't want to do that. I don't like the feel of that. So Julia really helped coach me through, you know, sales really isn't that scary and maybe you should think about taking the sales cure. So I did, and it was great. So the first thing we did was practice it internally. We uh, threw out some hard questions, pretended we were a tough client. What do you do when they start to you know, try to get to the end of the sales cure with the close and asking some of those harder questions? So we did a lot of practice internally, but the first sales call I had, we closed a $30,000 deal on the first time using a sales cure. So talk about a confidence booster. It was like, oh my gosh, like, okay, well we needed to be using this years ago, but more specifically using it team wide. So uh, eventually my whole team will be going through it, but just a handful of us in the leadership positions have been through the sales cure. So eventually it will be a company wide mandated training because it is so effective. It's just so much easier to get on a call and kind of have that playbook of here's exactly what we're gonna go through. We're teeing it up for success. We are here to help solve a bigger problem. So it doesn't feel sleazy. It doesn't feel like we're trying to push information. It feels very natural. So I would say confidence is just the biggest thing for my team and I. For me, again, because I you know, felt previously that sales was one of those sleazy things and I didn't want to be pushy, is I'm actually able to help my clients. I'm able to help provide a great solution, a great package, and then my team can help fulfill that. So really it's incredibly rewarding to be able to close those deals and help people get to that solution faster. Practice makes perfect. You know, it's not an overnight process, but certainly if you feel like sales is one of those really tough things, which I did going into this program, I think once again, you walk out of it just with that confidence to have those conversations conversations and those calls. Whereas maybe other sales training or other tools, you don't get that. And it's a little bit harder to kind of put that method in play in an organization. So I feel like it was really straightforward and easy to follow and engaging. Um, and throughout the process, it makes you do a little bit of homework too. So you kind of have to take that look in the mirror and be like, Oh, how am I doing sales right now? <laughs> good or bad, right or wrong. It's just, it's a, it's a good therapy process and, and a good look in the mirror and ultimately a better outcome business-wise. Once you go through the program, it's like, oh, hello, that made sense. Like that's so easy to follow. And I think it's just provided in a very straightforward way. So I like that. I'm a business owner. I love bullet points. Like just give it to me and let's, let's, you know, get this going kind of thing. And so I felt like I was able to derive a solution immediately and it didn't take much time to put it into play.